Hello and welcome to week 11 of our journey through the Jesus Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. This chapter is called God Makes Way. Moses and God's people escaped out of Egypt and into the wilderness. They didn't know the way, but God knew the way and he would show them. I will bring you to a new home, a special land, God promised them. I will look after you. I am with you. God sent a big cloud for them to follow, a pillar of smoke stretching high up into the sky. It moved in front of them as they walked and shaded them from the blazing heat of the day. And when it was time to rest, it stopped. All through the cold desert nights, it kept them warm, glowing like fire. God led his people through the desert to the edge of the great sea. They were just wondering how to cross it when... Suddenly, they heard a terrible thundering and pounding noise. It sounded like horses' hooves. They shaded their eyes to look back and screamed. It was. Pharaoh and his army were coming to get them. Pharaoh had changed his mind, you see. Get my slaves back, he screeched and charged out into the desert after them with 600 of his fastest horsemen and every single chariot in Egypt. What were God's people going to do? In front of them was a big sea and it was so big there was no way around it. But there was no way through it either. It was too deep. They didn't have any boats so they couldn't sail. They couldn't swim because it was too far and they would drown. And they couldn't turn back because Pharaoh was chasing them. They could see the flashing swords now glinting in the baking sun and the dust clouds and chariot after scary chariot surging towards them. So they did the only thing there was left to do. Panic. We're going to die, they shrieked. Don't be afraid, Moses said. But there's nothing we can do, they screamed. God knows you can't do anything, Moses said. God will do it for you. Trust him and watch. But there's no way out, they cried. God will make a way, Moses said. Another minute and it would have been over. But then the strangest thing happened. God made the pillar of smoke move. It moved behind his people and hid them from the Egyptians. Then God sent a strong wind to blow all night long. It blew on the water of the great sea. It blew it to the left and it blew it to the right until it blew it into towering walls of water. And there, right through the middle of the sea, a muddy pathway opened up. And God's people walked across on dry land. When the Egyptians tried to follow, the walls of water crashed down on them and swallowed them up. God's people were safe. They danced and laughed and sang and thanked God. When there had been no way out, God had made a way. Many years later, once again, God was going to make a way when there was no way. From the beginning, God's children had been running from him and hiding. God knew his children could never be happy without him, but they couldn't get back to him by themselves. They were lost. They didn't know their way back. But God knew the way, and one day he would show them. Look forward to seeing you all on Sunday for our Easter service at half past ten. See you all then.